finally, finally, we have come to the conclusion. Nigerians are not committing any crime in South Africa. Nigerians are not part of any of the things South Africa has accused them of. Ni you are hearing from me now. I am telling you Nigerians and South Africans. Nigerians are not, and I can say it loudly, with confidence and with enough energy as much as I can. Because I have evidence. I have proof. And the proof is not from me. It's not from a random person on the internet. The proof is from a South African. Not just a South African citizen. Hello? The proof and the evidence is coming from... A South African man in charge. The South Africans in charge of all these criminal activities, investigation. In fact, they are in charge of the data and the statistics concerning all, all, I mean all, eh? the priority Wahala issues in South Africa. The reports have been released. The evidence are there. They have represented the various countries the various countries that have the highest number of people involved in these priority crimes in South Africa, every detail has been released and the South African authorities have released the report. So I'm going to play a short part of the video of that report so that you will hear from the reporter who is happily in explaining to South uh, His face is even sad, sad, the way the man is presenting it. He's disappointed because everybody thought that if anything is wrong in South Africa, it will be Nigerians. You understand? That's what South Africans make us believe on the internet. If it's any issue, if they have done anything wrong anywhere, it should be Nigeria. If it's powder selling, it's Nigeria. If it's anything, it's Nigeria. But now, your own statistics that your own government, your own people are releasing is proving otherwise. It's showing that Nigerians are absolutely not involved in all the things that you're accusing them of. So, South Africans, why? So, this this goes a long way, man, to just tell us that all oh, this problem with South Africans and Nigeria is just pure, pure jealousy, envy and hatred. You know, it's just pure narrative, social media narratives without backing. That's why we, people like me on this social media, are very, very important. You cannot take us for granted because we are not tired of bringing you guys real facts and real updates. If you just scroll on social media and read articles and watch YouTube videos from South Africans, no, 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 no. You will think that anything wrong in South Africa, anybody that is committing any problem, anything, you have to know that it's a Nigerian based on what you see online. That is what we call exaggeration. South Africa and Ghana, these two countries, they have just exaggerated and they're just trying to ruin Nigeria's name. Ruin Nigeria's name for nothing. Anyways, let me not talk too much. Listen to the South Africa Authority in charge of priority crime investigation. South Africans, did you hear? Because I know many of you don't watch your news. Many of you don't know how to, first of all, listen to updates from your government. But I hope that you at least listen to this man. I don't know his name. But if you are a South African, you should know him. Go and do your research about him. He's your brother. He's not a Nigerian. Because very soon now, people will say, oh, he's a Nigerian. He has manipulated the information. If he was a white now, you will say, oh, this white is just trying to favor Nigeria. He's not a white. He's a black South African. So, it's your people. It is your people we are talking about here. So, what is he saying? This first quarter, we are not talking of the whole year. It's just the first quarter of 2024 to 2025 financial reports. You understand? So we are still together to 2025. So basically, it's just the half of 2024 that we have lived. Eh? A country like South Africa, half a year, half. Look at the statistics that they are giving us. They are telling us that priority crime, we have gotten about 262 cases in South Africa. Just this short time. 262 cases. And of those 262 cases, how many were Nigerian? How many were South Africans? I would love Mozambique people to join us in this thing because South Africans have two people. If they don't accuse Nigerians, they'll accuse Mozambique, uh, Zimbabweans. These are the two countries that South Africans are targeting. 
they target Nigerians and Zimbabweans. Anything wrong in South Africa, it has to do with Nigerians and Zimbabweans. But how many Nigerians and how many Zimbabweans are on this list of South Africans committing all these things? How many? How many? Let us face that. So out of 262, you understand? 173 are South African citizens. 107. So you can clearly understand that of 90% of all the negative things happening in South Africa, all South Africans are the ones in charge that are responsible for it. Blame yourself, South Africans. You people are the ones. 173 of what 262 are, are South Africans. Now, there are all together 77 foreigners. 77 foreigners in general. You understand? Foreigners in general, 77. And of the 77 foreigners, we have 27 who are Zimbabweans. So, I cannot defend Zimbabweans too much. This is a huge number, man. Zimbabweans, 27. This is a big number of you people to be in somebody's country, you know, doing things that are, you know, when they say priority, that means the level of atrocity big. Ah, Zimbabweans. This is not nice, but, 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 it's still not enough for South Africans to blame Zimbabweans for their wala because you have 173 guys compared to 27 Zimbabweans. That's nothing. You cannot blame Zimbabweans. There's a country called Wasoto. Wasoto. They have about 14 individuals from that country. And then we have Mozambique with 10 citizens in South Africa. And we don't even have Nigeria on the list. We don't have Nigerians on the list. South Africans, we don't have Nigerians. How can I explain this to you guys? How can I, how can I make it louder? That we don't have Nigerians committing anything in South Africa. Yet every day on social media, every single platform, everywhere you go, South Africans are accusing Nigerians, accusing Nigerians, accusing Nigerians. Yet the evidence is clear. Statistics are showing that Nigerians are not involved. Nigerians are absolutely not involved in all of those activities that you blame them for in South Africa. But your people are the number one. Do you have the courage to face your people and ask them to stop? Or you find it easy to continue blaming Nigerians, Zimbabweans, and others? It's a shame, right? It is what it is. <laughs> your boy, Ajo Maji, on this one. Come back and tell me free. Because... Uh, more to today, why I suppose tell now. It is what it is. Cheese.